What's up my people? Bless up on yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe and click that top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. So as usual my people, I have some things I'm going to share with you guys. So the first thing more I'm getting at people is an update on the shooting we're going in a Portmore school. Seeing where a man get caught up by the police them and drop out. Seeing? So them said deadly gunfire disrupt school devotion. Devotion at the Rary Park Primary School in St. Catherine were disrupted by the sound of gunfire on Thursday morning as the police and alleged gunman trade bullets on the premises ending with the death of the unidentified man. The man who we understand had scaled the school perimeter wall shortly after 8 a.m. in a bid to escape the cops, but he was chased and cornered. Principal Richard Williams said it was frightening. It was a frightening situation for our students and staff, some of whom were not accustomed to hearing such explosions, and it caused great concern over the safety of the school community. He intends to meet with the relevant personnel in short order to hammer out strategies to enhance security measures at the institution. As a school, we definitely intend to meet with the school board and our, rep and our report to the ministry would definitely include an assessment of the safety and security of our school. Our school has a perimeter wall around it all yet hundred meters of it but at this time based on what occur it would be prudent for us to add to that some razor wires to raise it and hopefully if we can get some closed circuit tvs cctv that would be good williams told our news team he said these and other measures could be considered to prevent a recurrence or minimize risk the incident that occurred would have impacted the entire school population with teachers and students, William said. We treated it like an evacuation drill, so once we heard the gunshots, we quickly got into safety mode. Everybody got down in their classrooms and closed the doors until it subsided. I check on students and teachers, then move everyone to one location, William shared. The principal said that the student received counseling and were later released into the care of their parents and guardians, many of whom made a frantic rush to get to the school as news of the incident began to spread. The Ministry of Education and Youth is to send a team to the institution on Friday for further counseling as they also have their class parties. The St. Catherine South Police theorized that deceased man and at least two of his cronies were en route to carry out a reprisal attack following a murder in the space on Tuesday. A black and gold Taurus pistol containing three live rounds was reportedly retrieved from the gunman. The Independent Commission of Investigation is probing the incident. Boy, upon a school compound? Come on, man. Jano. So we are going to move on, my people. Moby, a businessman, joined two others facing extradition to the U.S. Following the arrest of two young men wanted by the authorities in the U.S. for activities related to lottery scamming on Wednesday, a third man has been arrested. The man, a businessman, his name is Troy Williams of Compass Place, Bogue Villa, in the parish, was arrested by the Year One Operational Support Team, Jamaica Fugitive Apprehension Team, Lottery Scam Task Force, the Jamaica Defense Force during an operation in Bogue Villa on Thursday. He too was wanted on warrant of extradition in the United States for mail fraud, money laundering, wire fraud, and other lottery scamming activities. Uh, Taji Singh of Paradise Heights and G.S. Plummer of Seaview Avenue, Coral Gardens, both in the parish, were the two men arrested on Wednesday for the same offence. The men are in custody awaiting an extradition hearing. So, if you want to go to prison, just go involve yourself in a lot of scamming. They have all different type of ways to find out them things there and hold on for you. So, we are going to move on, my people. Two in custody following seizure of gun and ammo 
in St. Elizabeth. Two men were arrested in connection with the seizure of a firearm and six rounds of ammunition during a police operation along the Magati Main Road in St. Elizabeth on Thursday night. Reports are that the police acting on intelligence inter intercepted a Toyota Voxy motor van and following a search a 9mm Smith & Wesson with six live rounds were found inside the bus. Head of the St. Elizabeth Police Division Acting Superintendent College Minto says the names of the men are being held pending further investigation being done with the St. James Division. The suspects are also being questioned in relation to a shootout between gunmen earlier Thursday night in Lover's Lane. A man who is believed to have been an accomplice of the two suspects, received gunshot wounds and is being treated at hospital. The vehicle in which the men were travelling had several bullet holes and was seized and held for further processing, the police said. Superintendent Minto also noted that on December 8, two motor vehicles that were stolen in St. James, a Toyota Axio and a Toyota Noah, were recovered in St. Elizabeth hours after they were reported stolen since the imposition of the SOE neighboring division there has been an increase in violent activities in the parish according to the St. Elizabeth police. So the man them had left St. James and then placed away the SOE there and I go over in a St. go you know what I mean commit crime so people leave your comment in the comment section. So me I go now update on the beach is told case. So me not go read the article, me just go, you know what I mean, tell you the main part them in the case. So the police them say the brother when him Oscar Barnes, him get contract, him get subcontract for kill Tonya. Right? Him say him knows say somebody they are gonna get that way. Because earlier on in the day, the brother when he might not. Him, him, him no know my not, you know, and my not no know him. That him say, him give the police them a cash and statement when them all are on him. You see me I say? So him say, my not approach him and tell him say, I want two machines for buy two nine. And him say that no day, I saw you know that the mansion is at our next place in a Portland, right? And him say, my not just start chat. You see me, I tell him say, why? He have a woman for fling away, a wife for fling away, seeing for one mil, and after him do that, he have two more things for do like that. You see me, I say, and I ask him, say, yo, if him can forward, make the two of them do it, and he might tell him, say, the woman no forget no gunshot, a straight juke up and cut up and sitting, seeing him say, might not jag a big long knife out of him waist. And I say, I this for do the damage. And he might tell my not say, yo, you can't kill nobody. Like, you can't do that in a demand them place. You see me, I say. And him say, by the time him check, one car come pick up my not in the town and him go. But before that car they come pick him up, him say, my not dep on the phone and talk to somebody. Seeing and the, the person who he might talk to, he look like, say, yo, that person they have authority over him to how him attack on the phone. You see me I say and, and then him say a black car pull up. And when the black car pull up, him see, see a Tonya in the car. You see me them time that him never know Tonya. So boy people, that case a mix up, me not lie. So stay tuned, me I go to update as soon as there's an update. So a man get gunned down in a whole bar in a bar. You see me I say? So them said the whole of a be police in St. Catherine are searching for a gunman who shot and killed a man on Thursday. The man has been identified as Taylor of Nareen, yeah, Nareen Lane, Old Arbor Bay. About 6.30 p.m., Taylor was a patron at a bar in Old Arbor Bay when he was pounced upon by a man armed with a gun. The man fired several shots hitting Taylor who collapsed. The gunman then escaped in the area. Taylor was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. The police are yet to establish a motive for the killing. Why may I tell you? Know, people, you know, just be careful, you see me? So, we are going to move on you now, my people. Them say, the distributor a sunshine snacks. Bo 
20 million, almost 20 mil. Couple employee make up and thief. You see me? So them said the Portmore Criminal Investigation Branch is investigating a almost 20 million dollar fraud at confector confectionery and snacks Li jamaica limited the local distributor of sunshine snacks and other brands detective inspector mark when name omar omar sorry says six persons were arrested as part of the investigation three of whom have been charged they have been identified as dispatch supervisor arnal borel seal representative um nathaniel sutherland and carnard abraham they have all been charged with larceny as a servant and conspiracy to steal the cib alleges that between a nine month span the men stole and conspired to steal a number of products from the company amounting to as me say almost 20 mil and at uh, this year you know in the span of nine months this year the man them do that you know jano a whole heap that you know people their actions were discovered following an audit done by the company which highlighted several irregularities a report was made to the police and the persons arrested they were brought before the saint catherine parish court last week where they were granted bail the three others remain in custody. Why, people, as me say, Jamaicans have a style where them say, if you can't thief, which part you work and a good place for work. Don't follow them, my people. Work on an honest bread. You see me? So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Bless up on yourself, like, and subscribe.